William Julius Wilson has written an excellent book about the changes that have occurred in Chicago and other communities around the country entitled When Work Disappears. And in that book, he cites statistics showing that when you control for joblessness, when you control for joblessness, the racial disparities and violent crime disappear. In other words, if you compare white jobless men with black jobless men, rates of violent crime are roughly the same. Men who are jobless, particularly chronically jobless, are more likely to be violent. Now, joblessness does not excuse violence by any means. Most people who are jobless do not resort to violence. But what we know, and what is no secret, is that communities that are plagued by exceedingly high levels of joblessness are likely to be violent.